socializing is really great exercise for the brain. It's not a simple task to take on. You have to read the body language. You have to interpret these statements and think of your responses. And it's really not easy. And potentially as a consequence of this, people who live more social lives and who engage with others more literally have larger brains. They have more gray matter. And that's a you know great selling point for a person like me who wants to encourage others to connect more. But it also has real consequences. Not in that like you immediately become smarter because you have a bigger brain, but as we age, having this added gray matter can serve as this cognitive reserve, which can make us more resilient through aging and less vulnerable to dementia. Qu quick interjection. Cognitive reserve is this concept that as your brain, let's say, degenerates with age, you've got all this backup material. You have sort of a larger hard drive that you can depend on. On cognitive reserve, the, the way that I like to describe it or the way that I refer to it in the book is you think about a, a you know a battalion of 10,000 troops going into a battle and losing 100 troops. Well, going into the next battle, they'll be still quite strong and powerful. But if it's a, a battalion of 500 troops and they leave, lose 100, it's a big difference. And so having this cognitive reserve, all this build up extra brain tissue will make you more resilient as that brain tissue gradually declines and atrophies as we age, which happens to everybody, unfortunately.